I think if someone has made the effort to seek you out, to approach you, probably been creative in the way to get to you, that often means they've got like this really hungry go-getter mentality that has driven them to approach you and be a part of what you're working on. I'm Jenny Fleiss, the CEO and co-founder of Jet Black and co-founder of Rent the Runway. As an entrepreneur, I typically draw from pain points in my own life to innovate. Um, so starting Rent the Runway, I was a woman in my 20s, had lots of events that I was going to and wanted great outfits without breaking the bank. And now I'm a busy mom with three kids and thinking about time-saving tools is the number one priority. Um, and so we evolved Jet Black as personal shopping over text message to take the mental to-do list that you know I think every parent, but probably every person, carries with them and let you just dump it onto a text message and have someone do your shopping for you. Some of the biggest challenges in starting Jet Black after having built Rent the Runway as a successful business is trying to recreate the same um, level and caliber of talent and culture that we had at Rent the Runway. We had an incredibly magical founding team at Rent the Runway that was hugely um, responsible for the success and the growth that we've seen. Attracting the right type of talent to a business, especially an early stage business, is critical. The best way is when talent comes to you, honestly. Some of the best talent that we hired both at Rent the Runway and now at Jet Black has sought us out in a very proactive way. Um, I think the next thing is just being really thoughtful about how you interview candidates and um, the, the cultural attributes that you hire for. One thing that's very important to me is hiring talent that is also very flexible. They're flexible in terms of what their role might entail, um, which means they're humble enough to you know, roll their sleeves up if need be and get on the the phone with a customer, if that's what matters. Um, they're able to wear many different hats and always just prioritize the biggest impact they can have on a day-to-day -day basis. And so creating you know, that sense of ownership within your culture is critical and finding employees who you know, have that self-starter, go-getter, and ownership mentality is really important. One interview question I love to ask is, on a scale to one to 10, how lucky do you consider yourself? And what we're looking for is someone who says a nine or a 10. And the reason is because luck is incredibly arbitrary. It's, it's perception, right? And so if you have someone who thinks they're very lucky, they're typically a very optimistic person. And being in a startup is all about optimism. It's finding the lemonade from the lemons and making every you know, failure a learning opportunity, um, seeing kind of opportunity in the difficult conversations that you have with a consumer or an investor and plowing forward to inspire the team.